What's going on, everybody? I'm DJ Sixsmith. You're watching the sit-down. Evil making waves this fall. Katja Herbers is here with us. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How's everything going? Very well. Busy. Yeah, shooting. Shooting late last night, mm -hmm. running around the city. It just seems like it's that time. But, I mean, given the success of the show, I'm, I feel like you'll take it, right? No, I'm really excited. Yeah. That's awesome. So yeah. what's this chapter been like playing this character? Like, this is a really fascinating world. And, like, we get a lot of CBS people. Like, this is very anti-CBS oh, in terms it? of, it, like, just a totally different world. But yeah. you kind of are used to playing in these darker worlds, I guess. Um, maybe in America I am. I, I come from Holland. Yeah, yeah. I, I come from comedy. That's so. really funny. <laughs> <laughs> so how did um, you make the jump then from doing all the comedy to some of this stuff? I then? guess that's just the first role that I got in that's America was drama and mm. then that sort of, yeah, built from there. And sometimes Kristen can be a little funny or yeah. goofy. So You'll you see more of that later. That's good. As the season progresses. So we'll progresses. really get to see your comedic muscles being flexed. Hopefully a little bit, yeah. <laughs> so what was it like doing comedy in Holland growing up? Um, it's really fun. Ho Holland is, you know, it's it's very s it's a small country, and part of the reason that I wanted to come here was because I watched a lot of American movies and TV, and I saw these actors that I wanted to work with, and um, uh, yeah, I started in the theater, mm. and and then I played. Uh, uh, I'm known for playing crazy people in Holland. <laughs> How crazy are we talking? Really crazy, <laughs> like borderline. Insane. Really, like, totally wow. insane. So how do you jump into something like that? I just, uh, I let it all out. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is pent up inside. You're like, this is it. I'm pretty mild-mannered yeah, in my, in my private life. Here. And then I'm, I just go like, it's the best, it's the most out. fun you can have. Right, because yeah. it's totally different from who you are in real life. I guess I have some of it inside yeah, me, I but I can let it out in the acting. Exactly, yeah. and really go all the way on yeah. it. <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> so who are some of the actors that you're watching growing up that you're like, I like what this person's doing, or these, these are great movies here in America? Well, Philip Seymour Hoffman. Yeah. When he passed away, I was like, am I still going to go to America? Like, am right. I still going to pursue I this? I mean, he was just an incredible character oh. actor, and he could do so many different roles. Incredible. I saw Capote earlier this year, and I was just like, wow. Yeah. Like, he nails that, too. Oh. So him, but I mean, I'm, yesterday I worked with, um, I don't know if that's a spoiler. I'm just going to spoil it. With uh, Speeder, uh, Peter Scolari. Oh, wow. I don't okay. know if you know him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he comes on to uh, on our show. I've watched him. He's yeah. amazing. Um, I work with Kurt Fuller, Michael mm. Emerson. These two guys aren't too bad yeah, either. Yeah, these two guys are a lot of fun to hang out. Yeah, with, they're right? super fun. <laughs> they're super fun. I'm a very lucky girl. Yeah, this definitely. This is a good show to be on. What have you learned about yourself as an actor doing this show? Uh, endurance. Mm. Got a lot of it. Yeah. Apparently, I thought I was going <laughs> to die it. halfway through. I was like, "How is this possible?" You're like, I'm out. It's, it's, you guys, it's, it's, yeah. Americans work so much harder than than Europeans do. Yeah, we like after eight nine hours, we're like, "Should we stop?" And everyone's like, "Yeah, let's go get a drink." Whereas here, they're just we like, "Keep going." Yeah, one o'clock in the morning, we're like, "All right, we're going to keep this rolling here." Yeah, but I love it, right. you know? So. That's a huge difference, though, between doing stuff here and doing stuff elsewhere. It's it like, is. we got to get it done in this amount of time, right? Yeah, and yeah. I guess we don't have, you know, not to make this I have to make this political, but we have free health care and education, right. so people don't have to work themselves. A little different, yeah. yeah. a little different. <laughs> It'd be great if we had a little yeah. bit of a different situation here yeah. with that, right? Yeah. <laughs> so when you think about this character, what appeals to you about the character, and what have been the toughest challenges in mm. kind of getting a little deeper? Yeah. Um, I'm just looking at her as though that's going to give me information. <laughs> um, she, uh, uh, well, she's a single, she's not a single mom. Her, her husband's away. Um, she has four daughters. Her husband is going to come back mm -hmm. at a certain point. Um, she doesn't have a free minute in the day, which just right now is, yeah, it's very similar to my life, except that <laughs> I don't have to parent it. small children. <laughs> um, and uh, I really like that she's very smart and outspoken and... She seems to be maybe a little bit of an adrenaline, adrenaline junkie. She used to be a professional mountain climber. Mm. She's not doing that anymore. She's talking to serial killers and, you know. Still an adrenaline rush yeah. there, right? <laughs> She's a bit of a flirt. Mm. Um, she gets more complicated every every new episode mm. I read. There's a lot so going on here. Yeah, she's, 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 she's she, yes. Yeah, She's fun. Especially, I like her. <laughs> yeah, that's great. She's I mean, especially some other roles for women. It's like very simplistic. Oh. You can just see it all on the surface. Like, there's a lot beneath oh, no, the no, surface no, no. here with yeah. this woman. Well, oh, yeah, and I mean, credit goes to Robert and Michelle King. Mm -hmm. They write um, amazing characters, and it's crazy that we have to say that that you know somebody writes really well for women because right. you know we're 51 percent. I know, but we still do <laughs> have to say. But it's still hard it. sometimes, yeah. apparently. But they are uh, incredible writers, which is why I wanted to be. On the show. Had you watched their other stuff before? Yeah. 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 I'm a big fan of The Good Fight and mm. Good Wife. 
What do you like about their style compared to some other people you've worked with? Um, I think their writing is incredibly smart, and the pace is quick. Quick, yeah. And their casting, Mark Sachs, who casts this show as well, is is, is very good, and they have they're very funny people, and mm. they're kind people, um, which is that wonderful. goes a long way, right? <laughs> <laughs> funny and kind, what yeah. else do you need? Yeah, You'll take and that. smart, yeah. So on the show, you guys are definitely figuring out what to believe, what to not to believe spiritually, just in yeah. your own life. What has it been like for you unpacking that through this show? Um, it's interesting. I'm getting to know, uh, I, I come from, from a country that doesn't have a lot of religion. Mm -hmm. I think most of the people in Holland are secular, so I, I didn't grow up in any, with any church or anything. All of that is pretty new to me. Yeah. Um, we did an exorcism the other day on the show, and we had an actual exorcist on set to make sure that we were doing it. That right. you were nailing <laughs> it? <laughs> it's like, okay. And the exorcist uh, is like, nah, you gotta tinker with this little bit yeah. here, and you're like, oh, really, yeah. okay. <laughs> uh, some of that stuff gets under my skin a little bit, some I of bet. the scarier yeah. stuff, and you know, the looking into, I mean, this show is about why people do bad things, mm -hmm. and unfortunately, there's a lot of people doing really bad things, and then we have the internet, and that, some, that makes it easier for people to connect online if they want to, mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, and conspire to do awful things. And, and we look into if that's, if, if it has a scientific psychological explanation or if there might be something else at play. And um, it's a fun ride, but I, I have had a few nightmares. <laughs> How do you separate from that? Uh, we do a lot of laughing. I mm -hmm. mean, these guys are very funny. Um, yeah, we just laugh a lot. Is this like the heaviest material you've had to deal well, with? Well, it's such a f nice balance because I don't know if the last episode that we had, um, there was also you know, the ghost hunter story inside. Uh, uh, wait, what were we, what were we doing again? Was that this one? I'm uh, not sure. Blah blah blah. I still have to catch Are you up. editing this? Yeah, we're gonna edit. Yeah, yeah. Sweet. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> wait, uh, what was the last one we did? We had the. The Exorcist? No. Oh, the Halloween, the Halloween. Halloween one. episode, right? Right. Oh, so right. So my mom hooks up with the, 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 the episodes are so jam packed. Yeah, there's a lot going on. Oh, there's here. so much going on. <laughs> so and mom's getting involved. Mom's now getting involved with with Leland, who mm. basically is the devil. Yeah. Um, Asif was on this show in a show <laughs> on this reality show called Ghost Hunters. Uh, I'm. What are we investigating? Oh yeah, we're at the exorcism. Mm. Oh yeah, we are at this okay, exorcism. Okay, so you're at the exorcism. Yeah, we're at this. Um, David and I, and Mike Coulter and I, are at this exorcism. Meanwhile, my kids are being lo lo they're lost. My mom was playing poker and uh, strip poker now with Leland. <laughs> this they're is off insane. in a graveyard. Oh my gosh! My youngest child is in a grave. <laughs> I have to pull her out. You know, so with the girl yeah. with the mask. Um, but so what I what I think is really nice about our show it's just it's so jam packed. I think like. You just keep going from surprise and surprise, and sometimes it's really scary, but then something's just stupid funny, or just... <laughs> I read an article the other day describing our show as batshit TV. Yeah, this certainly <laughs> like, sounds like it. Yeah. You know, it's and funny. It's good. Because sometimes I ask people, like, you know, what's the reason for people to jump into it? Like, yeah. you just laid it out right oh, there. Okay, like, good. that's yeah. literally <laughs> everything. Like, that's, yeah. there's never been something like that where it's, like, all these different storylines. Yeah, and it's also, like, the trust of everybody to say, like, the audience can actually follow along. You know, sometimes yeah. shows kind of dumb it down a little bit. This is like, yeah. no, we're going there. It's going to be deep and it's going to be scary. Too. Yeah, and and just really kooky yeah. and funny sometimes. <laughs> and I've heard some people on on Twitter like, mm -hmm. like, but you didn't finish that storyline or where's this Rose uh, 360 yeah. character going? But um, part of what I like about the show is we're not a procedural in that sense where we have like a rounded mm -hmm. storyline every episode, but. That Rose 360, 390 character will actually be back. Mm. I've just read an episode where that's coming back. So anything, any open, any loose ends will, will tie. They're going to be tied later. up at some yeah, point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a trust with that. And then you guys yeah. also have season two coming, also. Yeah. Which is nice because you start it's these so shows good. and you're like, I don't know if it's going to work out. Yeah. And you know, there's pressure, there's yeah. nerves, and then how how freeing is it once you do get that that you're like, all right, cool, this is going to be here for a little while. Yeah. Uh, I was very happy. I also felt really spoiled. I don't mm. know. Like Why I was just walking on set. I, I don't know. Probably like childhood, whatever. But I was. <laughs> do I deserve all these? You know, mm. like I had a moment of like, are we, are we getting too much? Right. I don't think so. Like me personally, I think the writing's amazing. If I were to watch the show, but just because I was on it, I was like, okay. I felt a little humble. That's humbled. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, it's an important experience. Yeah. Well, Katja, it's been really nice to meet Thank you. Thank you, DJ. Thanks so much for coming yeah, in. Of Check her out on Evil on CBS for Katja on DJ. See you next time.
Here on the sit down. See ya.